Kanae Swordsman. Story takes place at a Kanae private academy, where students who possesses memories of their previous lives are trained to serve as defenders. It begins six years prior to the main events, when our protagonist meets a girl who claims to be her sister in previous life. Soon afterwards he meets in another girl, who reveals that he was Dark Lord in his past. Even though having enough potential in the story writing, it fails to deliver that amount of enjoyment at the end. This show definitely deserves 24 episodes, which it didn't get. But despite of this flaw, overall it's a pretty nice and well-written anime to watch. Do give it a try and let me know your thoughts. Lucky. She gets reincarnated into a game world as a main antagonist who faces utter doom in every ending. Using her extensive knowledge of the game, she tries to escape from this cursed destiny. But this won't be easy, since she needs to be cautious and avoid any situation which may speed up the impending doom. I feel this show gives a refreshing touch to isekai genre. It's a great choice if you want to just relax and have a good laugh. Yoshiharu wakes up and finds himself in the middle of Sengoku period battle. He gets saved by the legendary warrior, Hideyoshi. In exchange of saving his life, he pleads him to become the next feudal lord. Now that the timeline has changed, he tries his best to keep the timeline from diverging any further. But after saving the Nobunaga's female counterpart, he realizes that he has transported to an alternate reality. In this world Japan's historical warlords are now cute girls. This show does a good job in changing between the comical moments and serious moments. Overall it's an entertaining show to enjoy. Nest is a son of noble and possesses a rare and powerful trait. With this magical ability, he is able to consult Great Sage, but using this skill leads to severe headache. Unsure of what his future holds, he is directed towards a hidden dungeon with rare and magical items. There he meets a maiden who grants him powerful skills. Now he has to train and make himself powerful enough to change his fate. Although it's too early, but if you're looking for something lighthearted and funny, you'll probably enjoy this show. Down our protagonist with a bolt of lightning. As an apology, he offers him a new life in a fantasy world and also provides him all powerful abilities. But our protagonist demands one more thing, that is to carry his smartphone in this new world. Accompanied with his new cute companions, he discovers the new secrets of this world. Even though having bad characters and poor animation, it does a good job in entertaining its audience. I feel some shows just exist to enjoy and have a good time. Coming at first place, we have Mashoku Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation. Our protagonist dies while saving a stranger from a traffic collision and reincarnates into a world as a newborn baby, possessing all the memories and experiences of previous life. Also gifted with tremendous amount of magical power, he vows to fulfill his duties. His new parents sees him as a genius in making. He studies under the great swordsman and mage, but his perverted nature of previous life is still intact. Despite his innocent exterior, he is still the perverted otaku from inside. I feel it's the best isekai show of this season. Story looks promising, also the art, sound and animation is top-notch.